Today we're going to uh, show you that sound travels way better in solid objects. Uh, so for this you're going to need some string or thread, um, a coat hanger, a metal coat hanger is, is way better. Um, I'm going to use just a large spoon to show you um, an even louder sound and then you just need a scissors to cut the string. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to uh, need to just measure out uh, the length of string. Now to do that what you do is you put uh, one the end of the piece of string up to your earlobe and then you're going to let it a, a little bit hang down and then uh, then you can cut it there. Once you have the two pieces of string cut, um, we're going to use one of the pieces of string with the coat hanger. So what you do is you take this center bit and wrap it around the, um, the top of the coat hanger. And then what you're going to do is, is take the ends of the piece of string and put them up to your earlobes. So once you have the, uh, st uh, the string on the end of the coat hanger, what you're going to do then is uh, take the uh, ends of the string and put them up to your, up to your earlobes and then hit them off the table. And when you do that, the sound is quite loud. It's a bit like a church bell going off in your ear. Um, now, if you want it even louder, um, you can use a, a bit of heavier metal. So I've, I've got a slotted spoon here and it's uh, it's got a hole in the top. And if you do the exact same thing with that and hit it off anything, you can hear a very loud sound on the on your earlobes. Um, now the reason for this is uh, that sound travels much better through a solid substance than just through air. When you think about um, sound going through air, air, the sound has to move the air molecules next to it and then, then the air molecules next to that. So as it moves the air, uh, it's going to lose a lot of energy as it goes. But when, in this case, what you're doing is you're, you're using the thing that's vibrating directly into your ear. So it's not actually going through the air to get into your ear. Um, so it doesn't lose any of the energy and that is why it's much louder in your ear.